Alright, so our power was off for 12 full days, and seeing that I'm a gamer, I needed to find a way to play games still. Right, so this uh, happened right after The Last of Us Part 2 launched, and I was really looking forward to this game. So today we're going to be having a look at some efficiency numbers here. I know that I, that I did speak about it a little bit in my previous videos with the 5070Ti versus the 9070XT, and today we're going to put those two GPUs uh, against each other again, because the results are actually quite surprising. Right, so currently we are here with the RTX 5070 Ti and uh, just the last of us in this downtown Seattle area. It's actually one of the more demanding areas that I've come across so far. And uh, it's uh, this is also where Alex from Digital Foundry found all of his issues, right? Now, I just need to note that this is with the latest NVIDIA and AMD drivers that I'm going to be testing. And also this is with the latest patch as well. So the rebar uh, issue has been addressed apparently all right so here we are at 1440p let me just show you the settings i'm going to i'm going to do a side by side i just want to explain a little bit of what, what i'm going to be doing in this video so currently we are just using dialysis performance right it doesn't really matter at this point in time but then we do have the very high preset selected here so i'm just going to show you exactly what i did to get to the most efficient way of actually being able to play games while running on a generator right so i'm going to drop this to dlss quality we are using dlss for you so dlss quality like uh looks perfectly fine all right our power draw didn't change that much even though we went from dlss performance to dlss quality and uh, our performance also didn't change that much right so yeah we are uh, over here we're seeing around 200 watt or so so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be using the two gpus i'm going to be running from this specific uh, metal post all the way down there just to test the power usage and i'll also be doing it at separate uh, frame rate caps so we're going to leave the settings as they are at the moment we are at 1440p on the very high preset with the lss set to quality right no frame generation or anything like that and we are just going to implement a frame rate cap now you can do one in the game but i, I just use a an external tool because <laughs> <laughs> it's quite difficult uh let's just uh, see if we if we apply a 60 uh, 60 fps cap here so you can see we we drop down to around 121 so we'll be testing at 60 60 frames per second 90 frames per second 120 frames per second and then uncapped for both gpus so we'll do a side by side but uh, i'll also show you here yeah, that uh, the settings we are going to be testing with I'm going to drop this down to the medium preset because it does use slightly less power and then let's just go back let me just show you the the power usage so we we dropped another 10 15 watt and then we are also going to be using dlss but let me just show you so we are using around 100 watt here so this is with dlss quality i'm going to leave that up there so 100 watts 103 watt so if we Drop this down to DLSS balance. Let's go ahead and apply that. Let's see if the power usage drops. Uh, drops by five watt, give or take. And then DLSS performance. I don't think there's going to be that big a difference. So you can see that DLSS balance is probably our best bet, right? So we're going to stick with DLSS balanced here. I'm going to be using FSR4 for the Radeon GPU as well. And now you can see we are sitting at a 60 fps cap here using around 90 ish watt of power on the gpu as reported by rtss and then one last thing i just want to see which one is a little bit more efficient is it the in-game frame rate cap or rtss so standing still here we are using 96.5 watt 97 watt with an in-game cap of 60 frames per second and then with rtss frame rate cap we are sitting at 90 394 right so <laughs> i know it sounds silly it's like two or three watt but when you are running off a generator and a battery backup at night every single watt counts all right so we're going to be using these exact same settings right so for the rest of the runs rtss frame rate cap 60 90 120 then dlss is balanced and fsr4 balanced as well and then 1440p on the medium preset all right now we can actually start with the comparisons all right, so here we have the 5070Ti on the left and the 9070XT on the right. And here you can see with a 60 frames per second cap with both using uh, 
balanced upscaling we are seeing the 9070 xt using around 20 watt less than the 5070 ti which is completely different to what we saw when we are using an uncapped frame rate right which we'll show at the end of the, the video as well now i wanted to test more games as well but uh our power went out again earlier today <laughs> so we'll just be testing the last of us uh, sorry about that i wanted to test more games but unfortunately it is not possible one thing i want to point out here is just look at the ram usage when we are using the 5070 ti we are using around four gigabytes of system ram less i've got no idea why um i'll be playing a little, uh, around a little bit with the uh, uh, fsr4 maybe it's fsr4 i don't know but now when we have a 90 frames per second cap here you can see the 5070 ti is doing around 110 watt and the 9070xt is doing 75 watt so between a 30 and 40 watt difference between them when we run at a 90 frames per second cap which is once again quite a lot more efficient for the 9070 xt now as we start off here at 120 frames per second the 9070 xt actually draws more power than the 5070 ti but as we move down the hill here the 9070 xt is once again around 30 watt less or 30 watt more efficient than the 5070 ti and uh, i mean both are doing 120 frames per second so it is a direct correlation to efficiency here the lows are also better on the 9070 xt although it's just a, a slight uh, stutter on the 5070 ti those happen from time to time i don't uh, i wouldn't be too concerned about that now if we disable any upscaling we've just got uh, fsr4 and dlaa set to native here we are running at the very high preset and you can see now that the 9070 xt is doing about 100 watt more than the 5070 ti now that just means that the 9070 xt can definitely be a lot more efficient than what it currently is all you need to do is just play around with the power limits or frame rate caps i will do a video with power limits it's just the models that i have currently the 5070 ti especially i can only do a minus 17 percent power limit so there's real really no difference there when we do enforce a power limit the performance stays the same the <laughs> that power usage drops by i mean at times it doesn't even drop by 17 percent. so it is a little bit difficult to showcase the differences between power limits using these two gpus so i'll see how i can actually get a video going around that maybe get a 40 series gpu as well all right so on that note i'm going to end this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button hit the subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one